quickly want to show you how to import the mapping metaphor from the University of Glasgow using the Neo4j desktop app into Neo4j. So this is uh, the website of the mapping metaphor which has really interesting uh, data visualization and data searching across many thousand metaphors in the English language across a long um, time. So we can go to search and in advanced search uh, we can select all the categories. So I already did this here. I want to see all connections and between this section and all other sections. I want to see both strong and weak uh, metaphors and I want to see both directions. If I click search it will uh, take a little bit uh, to download them. So I see my uh, search results and it tells me there will be 11,000 um, results, metaphorical connections, and I can view the results as a table. And then here, um, besides the uh, log, long table list, I can also download the data as uh, metaphor.csv. So this will take a few seconds, uh, but I already did this uh, in the background. So, um, now I want to show you how to create a new project with Neo4j desktop which you can download from neo4j.com. Here down here you see Neo4j desktop for uh, Mac, Linux and Windows. So in Neo4j desktop I can create a new project which I call Mapping Metaphor. Uh, here I create a new database of Neo4j 325 create the database. So if the database has not been downloaded, it will download the database. And I click on the manage options. Here you can see the Neo4j browser when it started, the logs, uh, a terminal to, for data import and similar things. Uh, I can see the settings and edit the settings file. For plugins, I actually want to install uh, APOC, which is the standard library of Neo4j, so it's installed. And now I also want to open this folder of the database. And then um, here it is. And I select the input directory. And into the input directory, I copy the just downloaded file. I just call it metaphor.csv. So if you look at this file, you should see the uh, tabular data structure of the multiple categories, which are then connected with a, um, with a relationship that has uh, a number of properties. So we have category one ID, category one dot name. Here's a typo in there. Direction, category two ID, category two name. The strength of the relationship in which era uh, this uh, metaphor was common and then examples. You see also that the examples are separated by a semicolon but I actually want to have only the first ones without these. So now I have this uh, now I can start my Neo4j instance and after a few seconds it's ready. There's my new video browser. And now I can import my data. So I just copy the statement that I prepared. Um, so this statement will do the following. I load um, the series 3 from this file, which is in the input directory, as lines. Uh, I will get to create the first category by its ID and optionally set the name and do the same for the second category so they are named C2 and C1 and then uh, depending on the direction I flip them around um, as categories and I also want to take the words that you saw in the column and split them by semicolon and remove the last empty one here and then I create a relationship with a dynamic with um, two category ones and two, 
and uh, line dot strength so weak or strong as relationship type and this property is the error and my uh, set of fields here and then I return the count of relationships that have been uh, in there so it loads this data from input in the input directory so in after a few seconds it should have the data imported then I can have a look at the data so it's imported 11,000 rows as, as we saw and now we can look at the actual data and so we see here the uh, categories, different categories that we saw before on the website and we see here weak and strong as relationships but we can also just click on relationship and say I want to see instead of the name I want to see the words that are actually connecting as examples to different categories so humankind to more evil is manly unhuman unhumanized for instance or uh, if i want to connect i can do the same for week uh, as well and for instance from the world to time there's temporal from world to religious groups there's world and, and so on obi at obi simplifying and so on so i can start to run uh, now uh, queries on top of this data so for instance, I can say, uh, give me the categories uh, ordered by their out degree. Uh, for instance, the top 10 categories by their out degree. So food and eating has 100. 97 outgoing relationship shape relative position and so on so i can see um, which ones have the most connections outgoing or incoming and i just flip this around and i see emotional suffering a lot of things point to emotional suffering and, and bad uh, but also behavior and conduct up to good and greatness so they kind of go together truth and falsity and so on. That's it. Uh, in the blog post I showed some more things that you can do uh, on top of this data, but this is it for now.